All right, so let's do an example. We're going to estimate the flame height for a one meter squared diameter pool fire with a heat release rate of 2.5 megawatts, as our example at the beginning shows. So we have height to flame is equal to 0 0.23 times the heat release rate to the two fifth power minus 1.02 times the diameter. So here we have 0 0.23 times 2.5 megawatts so 1 megawatt is a thousand kilowatts and we're going to raise that to the 2 fifths power and put that in parentheses in our calculator and subtract 1.02 times 1 meter squared alright so this is equal to the height of the flame is equal to 0 0.23 times parentheses 2.5 times a thousand close parentheses raised to the power parentheses 2 divided by 5 close parentheses minus 1.02 times 1. So this is equal to 4.3 4.2 meters. So the important question is this reasonable? If we look at this result it's not negative. That's good. It's greater than the diameter. So we're we are greater than greater than the diameter greater than zero this way. Anyway, we're greater than the diameter of the fire. And if you've looked at pool fires in general, we usually see the the flame height being larger than the diameter of the fire until you get to really, really big pools. And gasoline is quite volatile, so if you've seen a pool fire of gasoline it burns with a quite tall flame. Uh, it's not a thousand meters, it's less than a thousand meters so it's not exorbitantly huge it's on the same order it's on the order of magnitude of the diameter so that's good we want it on the same order of magnitude we don't want a um, hundred meters or a thousand meters ten meters maybe but generally we want it less than the order of magnitude because if it was ten meters the crowd number would be really large and it would be more like a spray fire rather than so I'm going to say, is this reasonable? Yes, I think it is.